Hello, everyone. My name is Owen Gottimer. I'm the community manager at TechWell. I'm joined today by Chow Dean, who is a consultant at Coveros. Chow, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, so Chow and I are going to talk about a security acronym, WAF. So Chow, I was hoping you could give us a basic explanation into what is WAF. Okay, before I start, I need to set the terminology straight. Um, I'm going to use two terminologies, um, the terms uh, web application and, uh, oh, sorry, uh, web server and application server. Okay, um, ideally an application should have a internet facing application server that I'm going to call the web server. And then uh, all the code should reside on the uh, app server, not web server, because web server is front end, is internet facing. App server is not internet facing, it's behind the web server. Now the interesting thing is, between the web server and app server, because it's already, uh, it's after the web server, so all the HTTPS uh, encrypted data is decrypted already. So injected there, you can see everything, everything back and forth. That's where the uh, WAF is coming from. It insert into that between the uh, web server and app server, it can be implemented many different ways. It can be a application server again, just inject a bit intersect and or everything or it can be a plug into a web server it can implement many different ways but the key is it can see the decrypted data between web server and application server now because it can see everything it can uh, detect the attack for example if you see the traffic said is single quote space one equals one. Oh, you know, this is S SQL injection, block it, okay? Or you see, oh, the JavaScript is trying to grab document dot cookie. Oh, there must be a cross-site scripting, so you can block it. So it's great that this concept of WAF intersect and prevent a, a, the a potential attack. Okay, the issue is that this is two sided sword. Okay, the issue is it tracks everything. Password is tracked. If, you, if your boss is logging and <laughs> the web can see your boss as a password, okay, <laughs> and the credit card number, of course, it tracks everything. So there's an issue with the insider threat. Even the security engineer need to be careful about looking at the log that WAF provides. Who can see those logs? Because the, the, the one who can see the log can see everything in past to <laughs> the server. Um, so it is good product, good concept, but on the other hand, you need to be careful about those intersected the uh, information. Um, what we, in my past life, uh, what we used to do is to install uh, the mod security. Mod security is from OWASP. That is the one of the product on the market that's free, open source. Um, from that, um, we, what we used to do is ask everyone internet facing um, web application, we install the plugin mod security, but disable it. Only when we think there is potential attack, we turn it on. Then look at the traffic. Then we avoid those potential issue of tracking everyone's password, <laughs> everything. Okay, uh, that's what we did. And um, I think it's a good, a good product, but need to be careful who can see the log. Um, the, that's basically the, the, the concept of WAF. 
Yeah, so it's a very interesting concept and it really differs pretty greatly from some of the other security options like SAST and DAST and IAST. Right. So when you're getting started with WAF, what steps do you recommend? You, you mentioned the OWASP uh, application to help kind of facilitate that. Is that where you recommend getting started? Yes, because it's a free and it is a, provide a very good feature. So we always use recommend mod security from OWASP. And secondly, um, it, uh, mod security provides all different kinds of rules. So you can actually enable or disable individual rule. You don't need to just turn it on and let it run everything. No, you need to go through every single rule, especially credit card number. You don't want to see credit card number regardless. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it's open source and all those rules are available. You can see it uh, uh, and enable, disable them. There's one thing uh, need to be uh, careful about is the OWAS, the WAF product, uh, just like any other security, automated security tools, they don't know every single attacker's expo uh, exploitation skill, uh, attacks. So if you solely rely on those automated tools, you will be in trouble. Um, those tools implement all the uh, tools implement the rules that are well known, but a lot of uh, complicated cases, they can't detect. So it's not a solution that will solve everything. But on the other hand, there is a principle of security principle, defending that you want to have all kinds of tools you can afford to protect yourself. Even though one tool maybe only protect one area, the other tool, tool protect another area, or they have duplicate feature, that, that is defense in depth. It's important. 